Okay, so the other day, I was driving down a highway, you know, I I was going to the store to get a couple knickknacks, some chips, something to drink, you know, I was in one of those moods where, you know, I can live outside my diet for a little while, and you know, I'm driving, you know, it's a um, Sunday, Sunday evening, right after church, and there's a a young lady, I say she was about maybe 18, maybe 20, give or take two years. And she's talking on the cell phone. Now, in my state, it's banned to talk on a cell phone while driving your vehicle. It has to be parked. It cannot be in a moving motion. So I'm like, hey, in my head, I, can't, I didn't want to, you know, like road rage and yell out the window, hey, get off the fucking phone. No, I just, you know, thought, thought to myself, like, she needs to be careful. There's people on the highway. So, I'm, you know, I, you know, drove slower than she did. And, you know, try to watch out for her. Try to drive, you know, try to be a defensive driver or whatnot. So, she speeds up, slows down. But then, she starts to swerve. So, I'm like, okay. Let me slow down a little bit more because I can't get in an accident because I don't have all state <laughs> you know so I take it easy she lives on uh, hopefully she did hopefully she, I think she did get off her cell phone at one point and it just goes on her merry way and I don't mind that it's a against the law to drive while talking on the cell phone because it is a distraction and I think people need to, you know, be a little bit more patient. Either wait till you stop and talk on the phone or get one of those Bluetooths. But if you get a Bluetooth, please don't be in public talking and there's also somebody else talking to you. Because when you're talking on a Bluetooth and you also have somebody in person talking to you, it's kind of awkward, you know. My boss does it all the time. I think it's funny. <laughs> it's hilarious. Like, you'll be talking to him. I'm pretty sure you've been in the same situation where you're talking to somebody with a Bluetooth. They're talking to you and the person on the little Bluetooth device at the same time. And it's just awkward. You don't know who he's talking to or who she's talking to. It's get off the damn Bluetooth. Um, man, this world is crazy. And this map is crazy. It reminds me, it reminds me of, um, Hard Hat. A little bit. Just how it moves. Like the spawning, the spawnings and everything. Um, I get lucky. I thought the guy went inside. Um, but yeah, man. This map is crazy. And the spawns is kind of crazy, too. It's a lot of, uh, bends and curves. A lot of places to hide and take cover. And head glitch. You will see that in this video. Um, as there is a guy in here in this video, I don't want to spoil anything, but he's acting like a dumbass. Really, you'll see. But anyway, also the other day when I was um got to my destination, I got to the store. I just wanted, like I told you, I wanted some chips, something to drink. Favorite chips are salt and vinegar. Doesn't really matter what brand, just salt and vinegar. And Sprite. Sometimes Starburst. I do Starburst every now and then. And as I get to the store, I get my my merchandise. Get in line. And there's a lady ahead of me. She's buying lottery tickets. Matter of fact, I think it was a couple actually. Older gentleman, you know, younger lady. And the lady was buying lottery tickets. You know, I was there for about 15 minutes. And she wanted every number, big lotto, little lotto, pick four, pick three. Her son's birthday, her birthday, her mama's birthday, straight box, box, and just box. I'm like, this is a bunch of nonsense. Is this what people really spend their hard-earned money on? But I 
assume so if the lottery is like 200 million dollars you're not going to get 200 you probably get like maybe 180 after taxes 160 maybe and that is a lot of money but it's a risk and to someone who actually plays that game every day is actually taking a higher risk of winning but what's the odds of winning the lottery I don't know I don't know so I'm not even gonna throw it out there let you decide leave a comment in the comment box but I played it a couple times didn't win and when I don't play my number hits so is that lucky or unlucky I don't know leave a comment in the comment box but I do the scratch offs every now and then I think that's fun but usually don't win anything but my money back so I don't even make a big deal out of that I don't even like to gamble my first time going to a casino was like last year 2011 <clears throat> I went with my aunt and uncle <clears throat> and I played blackjack. I was um it was it was actually hilarious because everybody up there is throwing like fifty dollars, hundred dollars. I'm playing like twenty. I don't even play twenty, I play like five dollars on the first hand. Cause all I had was twenty. And first hand, um I think I lost lost maybe like two two or three dollars, something like that. I didn't I didn't win, I know, I do know that for a fact. And second hand I got my I earned my money back. Third hand, lost my money. Fourth hand, got my money back, and I left. Cashed out, giving back my twenty dollars. I'm not a big gambling person, um, especially when it comes to money. Like I rather save and spend it on something that I like, but the risk is high. And are you willing to take the risk? That is the question. Are you?